This video demonstrates an overview of the diagnostic tools available in Hardware Configuration Runtime. With the Automation System, or AS, selected, right-click the hardware object to the right. Then select Open Object. This opens Hardware Configuration, or commonly referred to as Hardware Config. Clicking the Offline Online Toolbar button places Hardware Config into Runtime Mode. This displays live information. At any time, you can select the View Update menu or press F5 to refresh the live data. In this example, a failure of the Profinet communication processor was simulated by turning its Run Stop switch to Stop. Notice the CPU, CP, and ET200M's interface module are showing errors. Right-click the CPU and then select Module Information. The General tab of the Module Information window shows that the CPU is OK and that its external fault LED is lit. This means that the problem is not with the module. Selecting the Diagnostic Buffer tab indicates that the CPU is having trouble reading and writing the I.O. values. Let's close this window. Right-click the Profibus communication processor, then select Module Information to open it. The Profibus CP status is OK. We'll correct the error by placing the Profibus module's switch back to run. Select the Diagnostic Buffer and click the Update button. The buffer should show the two events, putting the switch in Stop and then in Run. Close this window. Select the View Update menu to refresh the data. The error is cleared. The next error has been simulated by turning off the ET200M power supply. Update the display again. And see the new error. Right-click the Profibus communication processor and open the module information window. Notice now that the CP module shows an OK status with its external fault LED lit. There are no current diagnostics, so close this window. Select the ET200M interface module to see the I.O. signal modules. At the bottom, you can see all of the I.O. signal modules show a red line through them. This means that the module is configured, but currently not available. Right-click the IM and open the Module Information window. Notice that the module isn't available. Click the DP Slave Diagnostic tab. Diagnostic information is not available because the IM is not available. We'll now correct the error and click the Update tab. Diagnostic information is now available. Select the General tab again. Notice that the status shows OK. You can close this window. Update the display to see the fixed error. The next simulated error will be a signal module failure, shown here. The module information of the CP will, of course, show no errors, only an external fault LED. The diagnostic buffer, however, 
will show a connection error with the I.O. module in slot 7. Selecting the ET200M and opening the module information window of the signal module in slot 7 will show the problem, such as not available, wire break, and many others. Thanks for watching Hardware Config Runtime Diagnostics.